Hi friends, welcome to today's video. And today in this video, we will see about how to create a panel in Canalizer. Open Canalizer, Analysis and Simulation, Master One Shutter. Right click and open Program Node. I will choose the CAN file which I have used last. So choose Demo3.CAN, open Demo3.CAN. This file is the last one which I used for sending message using a button. In case if you have not watched the video, check out the links in the description. To create a timer, use MS Timer followed by name. So now the declaration is done. To start the timer, use on start. So the timer will be triggered when the measurement or canalizer is turned on. Inside this, write a set timer with parameters of timer name and then millisecond duration. To check the syntax, open HP Capital Programming PDF. Search for timer. Chapter 14 contains info about timers. Here you can see the declaration, definition of a timer, and then starting of timer. The same syntax I am using it here. Now create a definition for timer ms underscore 100 ms. I will send a message inside the timer. After this, call the set timer function again so that call will come cyclically. During on start, set timer will call this. This will call uh, function definition of timer again. So we are calling this recursively. So this will happen cyclically until we cancel the timer. So we will now try to cancel the timer using a panel. We will create a checkbox. So open environment system variables. Create a new one named checkbox with the name send. Initial value is zero. Minimum value is zero. And maximum value one. So you can also export the variable into a file. So the next time you can load this file directly. Now you can create a panel, go to home, panel and then new panel. Go to toolbox, drag and drop checkbox and also start and stop button. Click on checkbox and change the name. One map the system variable to checkbox send. Now save the panel. If we map the checkbox icon to system variable, using the system variable, we can do an event based operation on capital. So the GI and capital works together. So now, whenever the checkbox value is changed, so this function on system variable checkbox send will be called automatically by itself since it's event based. So here when the checkbox is clicked, the value is 1. At this time, I need to call the setTimer function. When the checkbox is uh, ticked, so this will call the setTimer function. From setTimer, it will call the recursively again and again. To stop the timer, you need to use one more variable named flag. So set the flag to 1 here. So on timer definition, when the flag is one, so call this a timer function. So here, when the checkbox is unticked, set the flag value to zero, so that uh, so that the set timer will not be called again, and the cycle will break. Open the panel now. When you tick the checkbox, message will send, and when you untick the checkbox, message will not send. Open HP Capital Programming. Go to page number one zero seven. Here is the declaration of the timer syntax, followed by trigger and then definition. So this will call only once, since the cyclic call is actually missing. So this will send a message only once. So here we have an example of periodic. Here, recursive set timer function is called so that the message will be cyclically called every 100 milliseconds. That's all on this video. This is how the timer works.